What's up, you guys, and welcome back to another Offered Outlaws video. Now, we got something very, very interesting to do today. Now, that is to go pick up Whistling Diesel's totaled Hellcat. That is right, you guys. We are going to pick that up. First, we're going to get backed up to our trailer here and go ahead and get hooked up to this. Let's see. Almost. A little bit more, and we should be good. Let's see. All right. We got the trailer hooked up, you guys, and we are now headed to Westland Diesel's Ranch. I just got off the phone with him not too long ago. And uh, he's going to go ahead and sell me that Hellcat because he's not doing anything else with it. The thing doesn't even run. So it's going to be quite a challenge for us to uh, get that working and, you know, get it back going. I haven't really, you know, seen the car in person, but we are going to go check it out today. Buy that, hopefully buy it, you know, it, unless it's just destroyed to like no end, then we probably won't be able to do anything with it. But we're still going to head over there and possibly buy that. So that's where we are headed right now. Like I said, to Whistling Diesel's Ranch. He is waiting on us. And uh, yes, we're going to go ahead and head out of town here. Make our left. Okay, make sure we stop that stop sign up. Go over this bridge. You know what? I am really hungry. But I don't know if I want to take the time to stop at uh, the little fast food place here. I don't know. You guys, I think I'm just going to go on and go to Whistling Diesel's Ranch. Because I'm so excited and I cannot wait to get that Hellcat. I'll see you guys over there. All right, you guys. Well, here we are finally at Wilson Diesel's Ranch. You know, after a little bit of driving, um, now I don't see the car anywhere, so that's a little confusing. He said it would be out front. Um, yeah, not not sure what's going on there. I'm going to see if I can walk around here, find Whistling Diesel, and maybe buy the car. Hopefully. I mean, I don't see it. Hopefully, he hasn't, you know, completely just scrapped it yet, but I, I guess we'll see. All right, so I just talked to him, you guys, and he said he buried the car back here somewhere in a mud hole so i don't know exactly where that would be but we are gonna try to find it let's see okay so it's definitely not in that mud hole i don't guess i mean i can't really tell i don't see a car i feel like I, oh oh whoa okay we accidentally went in there a little bit um it's not in that one okay well it's not there let's see i still don't see the car anywhere you guys i do not see the car wait a minute no way there's the car right there buried in the mud oh my goodness wait a minute let's see if we can get a better look at that oh wow so the mud is actually inside the car it's halfway up the steering wheel oh i can see all the damage to the front of the car there yeah he said he wrecked it pretty good um okay well i guess we're gonna figure out a way to get that out of the mud um <laughs> this is gonna be fun man this is gonna be fun here all right, so I managed to get the Hellcat out to about right there. Um, I'm going to try to rehook and pull up a little bit further, and maybe we can get it completely out and then get it on that trailer. All right, we almost got it. I don't think we're going to... You know what? We're going to lock in full drive here, see if we can get this thing completely out. We managed to get it on the trailer. I had to actually back up some more and, like, restart. It was a mess, guys. Come on, old truck. There we go. We got the Hellcat. We got Whistling Diesel's Hellcat, you guys. So, um, I have purchased the car from him. My plan is to just rebuild the car, you know, completely restore it, get it back to its working order, and then, you know, just rip around in the thing. And possibly if he wanted to uh, buy the car back, he could, um, because he kind of said he, you know, he does miss the car a little bit already. So, my plan, first of all, is just to fix the car and then just kind of go from there. But uh, as you can see, we got a lot of work to do to the front end, and it's going to be fun. Man, the truck is squatting here. This is quite a sight. All right, you guys. Well, here we are. We're headed out. We're going to get back over to the house and hopefully get to work on this new Hellcat. All right, you guys. Here we are back at the yard. I think what we're going to go ahead and do is clean up the Hellcat, get it off the trailer, and then just kind of go from there. All right. Now, we got the car cleaned up just about as good as we could. Now, as you can tell, the front there is still pretty badly messed up now we did try to crank the car several times but uh it, it just doesn't do anything it has a few lights that come on on the dash but that's it but as far as like running driving it does not do anything so uh yeah like i said it doesn't even try to crank so that's gonna be pretty um you know that's gonna be a pretty tough one to figure out but hey you know uh, it's kind of obvious the front is you know causing all the problems with it being so messed up so i guess we're gonna work on that kind of um See if we can figure anything out with it, you guys. But I think we're going to go ahead and end this video right here. Hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, guys.